Hello, cool ass, it's Pablo here and welcome back to Barcelona Universal. It's Barcelona nil, Atletico de Madrid nil in a big, big game, of course, this weekend in La Liga. Barcelona, you know, we know, guys, we probably had to win this football match. We haven't won it. Um, even that, you know, even a victory might not have been enough for us to go on and win La Liga. But we haven't got the victory. It's nil nil. Not the really the best result for either side on the on the afternoon. But look, we didn't really offer enough. Neither did Atletico. And nil nil or a draw is probably the fair result. There is a lot to analyze, though. So without any further ado, let's Let's get in to today's match review. And let's start with that team selection from Ronald Koeman, who, of course, was in the stands for this game. It was Alfred Schroeder on the bench again for Barcelona. But it was interesting because we went back to the lineup that played uh, against Villarreal, against Athletic in the Copa final. So that was Mingueza starting ahead of Araujo. A few things to know about this lineup. I think, first of all, we saw Busquets go off with a concussion. We hope that he's okay. You know, that did look a little bit worrying, didn't it? And that certainly affected our play. You've got to say, in this sort of massive game, losing Busquets is never good news. Uh, the youngster, like Moriba, came on. Maybe we could have introduced someone else there, like Dembélé maybe. You know, we saw how, how how that works when he came on later on. You know, clearly we had way more about our game when we actually went for Atletico. Perhaps even someone like Ricky Puch could have come on in this game. But to be fair, you know, when Lights came on, it's great to see he's getting so much trust from a young age. And he did do all right. Uh, we also saw at halftime Araujo come on for Mingueza. We'll speak about Araujo a little bit later, but he was excellent off the bench. So I think for Barcelona, the setup for Ronald Koeman, it wasn't a bad idea. But we did see, guys, we just looked a little bit null on attack. Maybe we had too many defenders, too many midfielders on the pitch. Because for large parts of that game, Messi and Griezmann just looked so isolated up there. And it did feel almost a little bit defensive and cautious from Barcelona. And let's start with that match action then. In the first half of Barcelona really wasn't good enough. I think we all agreed that at half time. Look, we had the chance from Messi really. That was our only real chance in this first half, wasn't it? Messi, an unbelievable run really, you know, running through the whole team. I think it was a great save at the end by All Black. It would have been a special, memorable goal from Messi, especially on a day like this where we know it could have been a huge goal for the La Liga title. But other than that for Barcelona, guys, we just got run over. It's as simple as that. Atletico had the better chances. Correa had a good shot blocked. Ter Stegen made numerous important saves. He's been getting a lot of stick of late, but I think he reminded us why he is so good, as did All Black, actually, uh, in the Atletico goal. You know, two of the best goalkeepers on the world in action today, and well, they were both excellent in today's proceedings. But for Barcelona, like I say, guys, you know, it just wasn't good enough in that first half. We couldn't find any rhythm. We looked like we had no energy in our play. And that, for me, isn't really good enough. In this sort of game, we kind of knew, guys, we have to win this game. We have to go on and show ourselves. You know, it's no really good, no real good drawing the game. We might as well have lost it almost in the end, you know. I mean, that might come back to bite me. But I just think as a Barcelona team, let's go and take the game to Atletico. Let's really hurt them. But we looked scared in that first half. It's as simple as that. And Atletico had the better of it. They really did. So for Barcelona, look, we missed an opportunity against Granada. And today again, guys, especially in that first half we just weren't good enough Atletico looks way better than us and I certainly would have liked to see something different from Barca to be fair, in the second half, I think for large periods of it, we certainly were the better team. I think you look towards the end of the game, we really were much better there against Atletico when we made some subs. We were actually attacking them, and that's what happens, guys. Atletico, they'll go into their shell, they will hide away. But to be honest, guys, for the for the start of the second half, it was more of the same. We looked tired, we got to all of the loose balls second. Atletico, we know, are a much fitter side than us. They have a lot more determination in their play. But to be honest, they didn't really have any chances in the second half, and that actually can happen a bit to Atletico. I think they come into games and you think they're a really dangerous dangerous prospect, which they are. They're incredibly good defensively. They've got an amazing goalkeeper and they can hit you on the break or with set pieces. But I still think, guys, if you're confident, if you take the game to them, they can crumble. They've proved that numerous times this season. And in the second half again, guys, like they have been doing in recent weeks, when Barcelona attacked them, they had massive issues and they just survived that game there. We had a few chances, probably nothing good enough, but they managed to end the game nil-nil. And that isn't even a good result for them, guys, is it? It looked like both teams were almost happy with a nil-nil at the end there. Maybe Barca less so, but Atletico, you know, they've, they've also there, guys, almost relinquished the crown there to Real Madrid. If Real Madrid now win their four fixtures, they will be champions. So Real Madrid, they'll be laughing at this result. They would have absolutely loved it. And for Barcelona in that second half, look, we look at some of the chances we had. I think, you know, we tried to get the ball into Griezmann a few times of course, Messi was skipping away the free kick. They went just over the bar late on. Dembélé's header, I thought, was a great chance. We certainly could have scored that. It likes Moriba. Also had a shot well blocked by Hermoso. Quite similar to the Correa chance, actually, that Longley blocked in that first half. But I think actually Araujo was one of our biggest threats in that second half. And a quick word really on Araujo. I thought he was absolutely excellent. Uh, Atletico had some pacey players. I thought Carrasco was probably their best player on the day. But Araujo in that second half, how good was he? That was really the Araujo that we were seeing in December, in January. And when I watched Araujo like that, I honestly feel like he's one of the most complete defenders uh, in, Europe, in European football right now. Just because of the way he does that look. 
The issue is he hasn't been doing it consistently. He's had injuries, and Mingeth has certainly been far more reliable than him uh, the, the, for the for the entirety of this season, really. But when he's on it, Araujo is such a prospect at the back. He's huge. You know, he really gets his body in the way. And again, it's Atletico. He is immense in these sorts of situations. And also down the other end, guys, we know he's a big, big threat from set pieces. There were a few chances where I thought he's our best chance of getting a goal here. We saw Longley take one just off of his head. And he again, guys, I thought today I had to mention him, was so, so impressive. I think if you look at the rest of our team, as I say, guys, we did look a little bit tentative, a little bit scared. That irritated me. It wasn't really good enough from Barcelona, was it? You know, what was there to lose, guys? Look at us now. We've could draw on the game nil nil you know what's the point really guys you know it's going to be hard to win La Liga now that was basically that really guys for this season and I'm a little bit gutted we didn't really go for it more I think you look at the midfield was it adventurous enough of course losing Busquets is never good and having to drop De Jong back isn't going to help us because he makes a lot of important late runs into the box for us but maybe the 3-5-2 or the, or the 5 3-2, whichever way you see it, guys, maybe it just, you know, it, it halts us a little bit in games like this against good defences. It's almost like we didn't have enough players in the final third to really threaten Atletico. And as I say, guys, we saw when Dembele came on, he immediately took the players on. He took the ball past defenders and he made things happen for Barcelona and nearly there got us a goal late on. So I think, look, guys, we end the game there with, again, regrets. You know, we made a big comeback in La Liga this season. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to get the title now which is a little bit annoying, really, but it's almost like we expected it, guys. I think that game against Granada, I have to highlight it again because I think we all realised that was it. That was it, guys, for La Liga. It really was that. That game against Granada, when we were 1-0 up, comfortable... But that, the, the players we had on the pitch, guys, the defenders, the lack of the lack of intensity and the way we threw that one away, yeah, that's going to haunt us, guys. Because you know what? If we had beaten Granada, we could have afforded to draw this game, win our final three, and we would have been champions. Those are the margins we're working with, guys. We slipped up in that game. We messed up. I hate to bring it up again, but we just have to, guys. It really is the game I think we'll all look back on now. You know, we've slipped up before, of course we have. But that game against Granada, when we knew it was all in our hands, teams had dropped points over the weekend... And we messed it up, guys. We won them up and we messed it up. And today, guys, you look, even if we won today, as I say, we probably might not have won La Liga. I still think Real would have dropped points if we'd won. But we haven't won, guys. We didn't show enough today. And I think you look back to that kind of game, guys. That was the big one that we definitely messed up in. But I think I will begin to end the match review there. I, not the longest here, really, guys. That was a nil-nil, of course. You know, there, there aren't awful amounts to talk about. I thought, like I say, I was a little bit disappointed with the way we didn't go at Atletico enough. I thought in the first half, to be honest, Atletico were actually pretty good. But you know what? They have that in there in themselves, guys. It's just part of their DNA. They can't help sit off, really, in the second half. And they can't help, you know not attack for 90 minutes it's just not the way they like to do things so you will always get the chance to get back in the game against them but look for Barcelona not good news again I think of course questions will be asked of Ronald Koeman going into next season now I suppose we've got to wait and see what happens for the rest of La Liga you know if a miracle happens if Atletico lose if Real Madrid also lose then look Barcelona if we win our remaining three games will be champions but you know we're asking for a lot now guys we're asking for defeats to both Real and Atletico and that certainly guys is going to be very very hard to get in the final three fixtures. I mean, you never know. You honestly never know. And all we can do, guys, is win our final three games and see where it takes us. But you do get the feeling that is that for Barcelona this season in La Liga. As always, guys, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm sure you guys have plenty to say, perhaps some animated responses too. So, you know, I look forward to seeing what you guys have to say in the comments down below. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Hopefully you enjoy the game um, and hopefully you enjoy the match review. We'll be back on the Monday for the preview ahead of Levante. And we'll see what sort of situation we are in by then. I'll see you guys then. And goodbye.